In VWare 2022.1, we added several new features and enhancements. Cryptomat is now supported in GPU ray tracing. This improves and speeds up the image creation and compositing workflows massively. When being in VR using the place mode, you can now teleport at the same time, which gives you all the freedom to place objects which are normally out of your physical moving area. We also support now the new VR headset, HP Reverb G2, and the new HTC Vive Pro 2 as well. Additionally, we did some UV editor improvements. When using a triplanar based projection method, sometimes you get many tiny islands. Therefore, we implemented a new calculation option called Fewer Islands. It reduces the number of islands for a UV layout, which improves the texturing process. This option is, by the way, automatically enabled in the Bake Light and Shadows dialog when creating a triplanar based UV set. In OpenGL, a light source can now also illuminate the shadow material, like in ray tracing. Just enable the Diffuse Only option in the Shadow Material and enable Illuminate Shadow Material in the Light Editor. This gives you instantly a more realistic look without the need to create an additional ground plane using another material. For better quality and more flexibility in real-time scenes, we also added the new option to bake a separate illumination texture channel. You can use this to bake ambient light in car interiors separate from the environment. Now you can separately turn on and off the ambient lighting and also switch the environment independent of the baking. You just have to check Enable Separate Illumination in the Baking tool and also define which light should be calculated separately and which incandescence material should be added as well to the separate calculation. After the calculation, I can observe the separate illumination channel in the pre-computed illumination rendering mode. I can also control which channel is visible using the new Bake Render options. But that's not all. We also added an intensity control for the separate illumination. So you can control the intensity of the baked separate light and also change the color to your needs. And you can control this option using a Python script. Also fading the light intensity is possible by using a Python script, which gives you a very smooth transition when turning on the separate illumination channel. Like here, where I'm controlling the light intensity fade within a variant set. Find also this example, which comes with the installation. Thanks for watching the video.